you take us through the two finishes that you're working on here today and um, how you achieved these looks? Well, this one was uh, a finish I used to do and I, it was a version of petrified wood and it was also something I did to reproduce malachite. And I thought, what if I took that and added gold instead of color? And how about this other um, piece that you do where you create this perfect linear pattern? I wanted something to show that truly hand done. And that is truly hand done when you use your fingers to do a finish and get that pattern. And each one is totally individual. So when you work with a designer on a collection and they they say, I want to achieve this finish, take us through an example of something where you had to you had to create a solution for what they were looking for. Well, uh, probably this, this one with Barbara Berry here where I uh, had to do a celestial finish that she, the celestial pattern that she did for Kravit and we had to find a way to reproduce that and we kept thinking how can we stiffen that fabric and I decided to take a look at trying glue and we glued the fabric I've never done that before and uh, we ended up being able to make a mold of that and so we ended up with this as an end result a lacquered finish that has all the characteristics of the fabric, but it's now a lacquer. How did this go from being um, a, a wooden skeleton of many, many pieces into this metal finished component? The original sculpture, it's one of a kind and, and extremely valuable. They sent that to me and I had it sitting on my workbench and then I could look at that, take measurements off it, and then I carved all the wooden pieces um, because you couldn't, you couldn't make a casting from the way this was assembled, so it had to be taken apart, and they weren't about to let me saw their sculpture apart. You this, eyeballed it and worked off of that. I eyeballed wow. it. Wow. Then all the parts were sent to Italy. They make a mold from it, make wax um, pieces, mm -hmm. and then there's the lost wax method. You melt the wax out, pour brass in. Then that was all assembled, brazed together, and then gold-plated to make the final piece. You come from a family of upholsters. Tell us your history with this craft. Well, my great-grandfather had started a furniture factory in High Point, I guess back pre-World War II, and had it. My father, he was an upholster. So the piece you're working on here, it has a tufted back and a loose seat, and what's the most challenging part of upholstering a piece like this? Uh, probably the tufting, doing the tufting back, yeah, the diamond tuft. And that's all done by hand? It's all hand done, yeah. So hand how long would a piece like this take you to create? Um, an upholster probably an hour and a half just to do the inside upholstery parts on it. Uh, from, from start to end it's probably eight and a half hours in total time on the chair. What's your favorite part of, of all of this, of being a creator, of being with Baker? What's the most gratifying part for you? Well, it just allows me to, to use my talents and to actually uh, receive a, a steady paycheck for doing something that I love and enjoy doing.